Hello, my name's Sam Mottram. I'm here from Caterpillar's Global Mini Hydraulic Excavator Product Group to talk to you about a new addition to our under three ton mini excavator range. This is the 301.7 DCR. It provides maximum performance in a very small package. Its zero tail swing design and extending undercarriage provide great performance in confined spaces while giving excellent transportability. It's also a very powerful machine. It's fitted with an 18 kilowatt engine that also provides maximum efficiency, fuel efficiency, performance, and also lack of wear on parts. That's coupled with a variable displacement pump and a load sensing hydraulic valve, which is also used on our 301.4C product. This valve gives excellent hydraulic feel and capabilities when using work, different work tools around the job site. Let's take a look now at the front end of this 301.7 DCR. It comes with a choice of stick lengths. The shorter stick is perfect for those who require maximum stability and use a lot of digging applications. It also is perfect for those who are utilising heavier work tools. The longer of the two sticks is much more suitable to those who are trying to grade with the machine and also those who are doing a lot of site cleanup. It also reduces the time needed to move the machine while trenching. The machine comes as standard with two-way auxiliary hydraulics that are also suitable for use with a hammer. It also comes as standard with the hydraulic quick disconnects. As an option, a second auxiliary line can be added. This provides a second auxiliary which is excellent for using a rotating grapple. Additionally, the machine can be fitted with hydraulic quick coupler lines and also power tilt lines. Let's move back towards the machine and firstly and take a look at the boom design. On this unit, we place the boom cylinder above the boom. What this does is provide excellent protection for this cylinder. It also means that if a machine is parked on a trailer close to another product, it isn't touching against the cylinder on the underside of the boom. The machine, as you can see, also comes standard with a dozer blade. The dozer blade on this, this particular product does not have a float function. However, it does provide the ability to extend with the extending undercarriage. The 301.7 DCR can also be configured with check valves for the boom, stick and dozer cylinders. These are essential when lifting with the front end of the machine and should always be configured if the quick coupler includes a lifting eye. Another important feature of this 301.7 DCR is that it shares the same interface as the 301.4C and 301.7D models. This allows the sharing of work tools between these units. This includes cat hammers, augers and buckets. Although this is a compact radius machine, we do our best to make it a comfortable, functional and safe environment for the operator. That includes fitting a retractable seatbelt as standard and also this left hand console which locks all the hydraulic functions when it's raised. Also here in the roof we fit a screen which allows excellent visibility when loading at height and we also add options such as this polycarbonate screen in front which provides safety when operating with hammers and when there's debris flying around. We also have an optional rear weather guard which provides protection for when it's raining to the operator's back. For ease of transportability and when moving the machine between confined job sites, we include, as standard, two lifting points on the top of the cab. They provide a very quick and easy way to lift the machine. Inside the cab, the controls and joysticks are set up similar to the rest of the under three ton range. Here on my right hand side is the dozer control lever, which also includes the standard two speed travel fit function. Moving to the floor, we have a nice wide flat floor for the operator's feet. The pedals here for the auxiliaries and for the boom swing fold to allow great space for the operator's feet. The two travel levers here in the centre come standard with the travel pedals to allow ease of operation without using the hands. And then down here on the right hand side we have the changeover which is standard for us. This allows a quick changeover between the use of a grapple and a hammer. Here at the rear of the machine we see possibly the most important aspect of this type of design and that is the rear counterweight. When the tracks are extended this counterweight doesn't protrude beyond the width of the tracks meaning that when working against walls and in very confined spaces and also during transportation damage to the upper structure is limited. One drawback of the zero tailswing design 
is that the front end performance can be limited. We combat this with an option of a 50 kilogram additional counterweight that can be added to the rear of the machine, particularly when working with long sticks, heavy work tools and power tilt options. Let's now have a look in the engine bay. With such a compact design, it's difficult to make space for every component in this engine bay. However, we do our very best to bring the serviceable items to the rear of the machine. That means you can see here, engine oil filter and engine oil checks are very easy to get to, along with fuel filters and the cooling pack. Additionally, these two covers on the sides can be removed for greater access. And also, under the seat, we have a panel which allows access to the top of the engine and the engine oil fill. So as you can see, the 301.7 DCR represents an important addition to our under three ton mini excavator lineup. It presents traditional reliability, performance and ease of operation in a compact package, allowing our customers to work in new applications. For more information on the 301.7 DCR, see your local cat dealer.